Hi band, welcome to the fourth and final uh, video of Carpathia. This lesson is going to focus on measures 26 to 34 as well as 40 to 46. These measures are really similar. They're not exactly the same, but they're really similar, which is why we're grouping them together. An interesting uh, piece of history uh, that we're going to learn about today is the ship's bell. The ship's bell on any ship or something out at sea actually used to be really, really important. Back in the day before we had digital clocks, the ship's bells were used to notify people on the ship what time it was. And it wasn't as though it were like 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock they would have watchmen that would use an hourglass and every half an hour they would have a specific kind of bell, like ringing the bell once or twice, um, depending on what part of the four hour watch they were on. Um, here is a picture of the Titanic's ship's bell. I believe there were actually multiple ship bells on the Titanic. Uh, for our version of Carpathia, uh, we will be using something that sounds similar. This is what we call a brake drum. And yes, from an uh, actual car. And if you're playing it, you'll strike it in the middle of the brake drum. And I like to use the butt of the uh, snare stick. Wow, that made my ears really ring. It's pretty loud. But you can see that sound really cuts through, which when you're out uh, in the ocean, uh, you want something that really will cut through the sound and carry it a long ways. Okay, some interesting things about these specific parts in the music. The music here, to me, sounds like waves going back and forth, back and forth. It grows, crescendos, and then diminuendos get smaller. Um, there's a little bit of a call and response between instruments, kind of some sound here, and then some sound here, though not exactly the same. It's calling out and then responding in measures 30, 31, and 32. There's uh, a big crescendo for everybody in measure 29, so make sure you're watching that. And then we again see a molto writ. It gets very slow in measure 32, so watch for that molto writ. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate first the clarinet part. Here's the clarinet part in measure 26, going from low A to low B flat. I went a little bit into 34 just so you could see that we go to now a slow tempo at 34. Okay, um, actually staying with the first clarinet part, uh, let's now go to measure 40. You can hear that similar though not exactly the same. Okay. All right. The second clarinet part, similar. And then now 
now going to 40. This is 40. Now, okay, and again, I played a little bit past 46 just so you could hear that transition. Okay, next, the flute part. Here's the flute part, measure 26. You're gonna rest for one measure. Here we go one, two, here's the rest. Rest, two, three, four. to 34 for you there. Um, I could have done a little bit better job starting loud and then getting quieter in 27. You will do better than I just did. You can also play the lower part. I played the higher part there. Okay. Oh, and uh, let's go ahead and hear uh, measure 40. One, two, ready, 40. Two, three, start quiet. Forty-six. Now, I love that part. It's so much fun to play. Okay, moving on. We're going to uh, hear the alto part now. Here's the alto in measure twenty-six. One. Two, three, four. <laughs> Pretty dramatic there. Uh, you go from a forte in measure 27 to a piano, so making a really big change there. Okay, now the trombone part. Here's 26. One, two, three, four. part in measure 26, 27, 28, 29. Shift spell part at the very end here goes back and forth, excuse me, at 26. Um, so it's a really cool pattern. Make sure you're uh, counting your rests. It's really, really cool. All right, band. Great work on Carpathia so far. These will be up on YouTube so you can come visit them anytime to review your parts. Okay, keep up the great work. Happy music making. See you later.